Want to change your IP address every few seconds automatically and fast? Whether you're into ethical hacking, penetration testing, or just want more privacy online this tool is a game changer. In today's video, I'll show you how to use the GR33N37 IP changer on Kali Linux and also how to set up proxy settings to match. Let's get started. First, open your browser and go to GitHub. In the search bar, type GR33N37 IP changer. Find the repository by the user GR33N37 and open it. Now, copy the repository URL from the green code button. Then, Open your terminal in Kali Linux and type git clone paste the GitHub URL here. Press enter to clone the tool to your system. Once cloning is done, navigate into the tools directory cdgr33n37. Then run the installer with root privileges sudo install.ch. Enter your password when prompted. The tool will install in a few seconds. You'll be presented with several options. Choose option 4, which is designed for fast IP rotation. Then it will ask you for the interval time in seconds. Type for and press enter. That means your IP will now change every four seconds automatically. This uses proxies or VPN routes set up in the tool, keeping your traffic random and private. If you want your browser or tools like OXE to use this changing IP, you need to configure the proxy settings. Here's how. Open your browser and go to settings. Scroll down and click on general or network settings, depending on your browser. Look for proxy configuration or network settings. Choose manual proxy configuration. Now set the following. HTTP proxy 1 to 7.0.0.1 port 8080 and make sure to check the box that says use this proxy for all protocols. Click OK or save. Now your browser is routing traffic through the local proxy that changes IP every few seconds. This setup makes your entire browsing activity benefit from the dynamic IP switching. And that's it. You've now got an automated IP switcher running every four seconds. Plus your browser is sensed to it using local proxy settings. This is perfect for testing, scraping, or staying private. If this helped, drop a like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more cybersecurity and Kali Linux tutorials. Thanks for watching.